a lot to be positive about as they come into line here. Coming in, and uh, there are for the Dominic Baker Memorial National Hunt Novices Hurdle. They'll jump eight flights over just under two miles, and it's Bagad Beer and Jack Sherwood leading towards the first. The big white face of Kerr Tauntra, the yellow and maroon jacket, brother Norfin, black and yellow, and in last position, double treasure. Bagad Beer clears the first neatly, slightly hairy leap to put it mildly from Brother North in, in third, but he remains on all fours, and Double Treasure and Brendan Powell last of the quartet. So it's Bagad Beer, a winner five times from seven starts in his short career that leads the way here, carrying his, his big penalty. Three penalties he's got to carry. They all get over the second. Bit of a collision between Brother North in and Double Treasure, and Double Treasure just fighting for his head a little bit. But Brother Norfin's been obviously over the first two. A circuit in front of them. Bagad Biu is the leader for the champion trainer, Paul Nichols. Jack Sherwood getting the ride this time. Taking off the five pounds to Kerr Tauntra and Dave Cross in second. Brother North in third. And then double treasure. The hurdle next to the horse boxes. Bagad Biu. Oh, and Kerr Tauntra's unseated. Dave Cross there. Kerr Tauntra has blundered. And the second favourite is out of the race. And he didn't have much chance either. The rider, he, he seemed to reach for that. Kerr Tauntra and gave Dave Cross no chance. Bagad Biu leading by about four lengths to Brother Norfin, who's wandering about going into that. He had a look with double treasure on the outside. Bagad Biu is, is clear by eight to ten. And I shouldn't think Jack Sherwood will be aware that his, his main rival is out of the race yet. He might do if the loose Kerr Tauntra catches up with him shortly as they get to the next one down the back. Bagad Biu leads the way by about seven lengths to Double Treasure in second. Brother Norfin is struggling to go with the other two now in third place. So followed by the loose horse, it's Bagad Biu comes towards the third last. He hurdled it perfectly fluently and uh, now Jack Sherwood looks round. He'll see the, the loose horse, having a good look at the loose horse now with in second position Double Treasure and Brother Norfin is toiling and well adrift. So can Double Treasure strike a blow at uh, Bagad Biu? Bagad Biu has got a, a handy advantage of about uh, eight or nine lengths as they're on the turn back towards home in the Dominic Baker Memorial National Hunt Novices Hurdle. It's Bagad Biu, a winner at uh, Newton Abbott twice in July, Stratford twice in August with the advantage here. He's giving plenty of weight away to Double Treasure, 16 pounds, but will the second be able to, to get near to him? Another look round from, from Jack Sherwood as they run towards the second last. It's Bagad Biu with Double Treasure in second place. The loose Kerr Tauntra in between the two. The second last, Bagad Biu lands clear. He's still 10 lengths in front. I'm not sure what, what Jack Sherwood's looking for, but he keeps looking round and he's got a clear lead on Bagad Biu on the run towards the the final obstacle with Double Treasure making no inroads whatsoever. He's coming towards the final flight then. It's Bagad Biu for a treble for Paul Nichols. He jumps it really well. Bagad Biu is going to coast in. And he's clear by 12 to 15 lengths. Paul Nichols won this last year with Maracuja. He's once again going to win the Dominic Baker Memorial. And this time with Bagad Biu, Jack Sherwood on board. Second was a Double Treasure and Brother Norfin. I think, yes, he has been pulled up. He's not going to complete. Well, I know that, that Paul Nichols has had tremendous success over the past three, four days, and, and ultimately in the month of, of October, since the season really got un, underway, and, and his horses are running really well. But I think of all the races that Paul has, has won of late, this one will be, will be very special for him because of, of course, it's the Dominic Baker Memorial National Hunt Novices Hurdle. Uh, Dominic, of course, the son of uh, Paul's right-hand man in many ways, Clifford, who tragically lost his life and, and our thoughts uh, very much with, with Clifford and the Baker family. Uh, and I'm sure that when Paul Nichols had a look at the programme book, he went, you know what, I want to win that race. And he found the right horse to do it with. And it was very comfortable in the end. It was. It was really easy wasn't it in the end for um the favorite Bagad B who who has um won that with any amount in hand i suppose it was made easier when his main danger um got rid of his rider who has walked into the ambulance we're hearing um 
David Cro Dave Cross, so that's good news. Um, double treasure was the the one to chase him home and wasn't put under maximum pressure in many ways to uh, give chase, but he was never going to catch him, so you can kind of see why. And you've got a highly rated horse in front and you're booked for second spot, so that's perfectly understandable. And um, Bagatby, who has not really had to get into top gear in order to go on and win.